What it do, bruh? Talk of the town, Nintendo, Doc Trey, still holding it down, still make the best games, and you know this, bro, it's the truth. You don't like it, you can have that seat All right, so it looks like the clock speeds for the Switch 2 GPU and CPU have potentially been leaked by Zacky Cat Games over on Family Boards, and people are going crazy. And not in a good way. People are going crazy because the CPU is clocked a lot lower than a lot of people anticipated. And for whatever reason, not only that, the CPU in dock mode is clocked lower than it is in handheld mode, which is confusing a lot of people. And a lot of people are, are saying, oh my gosh, what is Nintendo thinking? Are they crazy? So, based on this, according to this person, it says in handheld mode, it's 1.1 gigahertz. The CPU, the GPU is 561 megahertz. Uh, the memory runs at 2133 megahertz and in docked mode the cpu runs at 998.4 megahertz the gpu runs at pretty much one one gigahertz and the memory at 32 megahertz and people are questioning just why in the hell is the cpu one clock so low but also, why is the CPU clocked lower in docked mode than in handheld mode? And a lot of people are theorizing that maybe this is just a sample taking of the system while maybe um, during backwards compatibility mode, which is also a possibility because if there, you know, if there's no actual switch to software to test on this and they're using um, backwards compatibility mode or something like that who knows because there's they're, they're probably going to have multiple modes and multiple speeds just like the original switch hat now the fact that it says that it's clock lower in dock mode than in handheld mode should raise some alarms there a little bit because that's very unusual. So the jury's out on if that part there is accurate. But let's say that the speed listed for handheld mode, the 1.1 gigahertz for the CPU is accurate for both modes. Is that the end of the world? And is that really worth being upset about? We've seen here, even in these leaked frequencies, that the GPU in both handheld and dock mode is clocked a lot higher than most people anticipated, which is a good thing. But people are focusing on the CPU clock speeds again. Now, where have we seen this before? I want to take you guys back to before the Wii U came out. And I was telling people that based on where technology was headed, based on how development was going, game development was going, that you could expect the Wii U's clock speed of the CPU to be clocked significantly lower than the 360 and PS3. Significantly lower. And when it came out about the CPUs, uh, the Wii U CPU clock speed, a lot of people just laughed it up. They thought it was funny. Oh my gosh, this is horrible. This thing's gonna be less powerful than the 360. Oh my gosh, it's terrible. And then I said, well, wait a minute. The PlayStation 4 and Xbox One CPUs are gonna be clocked a lot lower and under two gigahertz also and people thought i was crazy until it happened but guess what 
the Switch's CPU was always also clocked lower even than the Wii U CPU. But guess what? Everything was fine. <laughs> it was clocked the CPU was clocked lower, but there were more cores. And what's going on with this with the Switch 2? CPU clocked lower than the Switch even. But there's more cores. So I'm seeing a lot of people too, they're like, well, if it's clocked lower than the Switch's CPU, is that going to be an issue with backwards compatibility? No, there's eight cores now. Like, why would that, is that a real question? No, there's not going to be any issue with that. And that's even assuming that this um, figure here is correct. Because it is, I admit, that is weird that the dock CPU would be clocked lower or even different from the handheld. So who knows? But if that is correct, it's it's obviously clocked at those speeds for a reason. And the main thing you guys should be worried about isn't even really the raw specs, to be honest. But if you're going to worry about the raw specs, the main things with a game console you should be worried about is the GPU and the amount of RAM. And guess what? The Switch 2 has more RAM than most people thought it was going to have. And the GPU is clocked significantly higher than most people anticipated. And honestly, as far as raw specs, that's the only thing you should really be worried about. This is going to be a DLSS machine. The GPU is the focus here. Now, if the if it said that the CPU was still four cores like their original switch and clocked that low, then maybe you have something to worry about. But the fact that they doubled the amount of cores it's a significantly more powerful CPU. There's way more RAM. The GPU is clocked significantly higher than people thought. It's at, um, looks to be in dock mode just over three teraflops, which I told you is the best case scenario for Switch 2. There's nothing to worry about. These games are being announced, or not being announced. We're hearing about these games that are coming to the Switch 2 that are surprising you. If there was an issue with the hardware, you would not be hearing uh, about rumors or announcements of these games. Obviously, it's powerful enough to get these games. Wait and see what the games look like. Just like what I told you guys to do with the Nintendo Switch. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments section.